everybody. This is Rattle Hollow Cat back at you again with another cool video. It's, believe it or not, sunny, warm. Oh my God, it's 60 degrees out. In fact, it is 63 degrees out. You know what that means. This means I'll have another shot at doing some more tint to the track walk. So we've already done this. We've already done a lot of work with the Lux tint. Uh, I'll give you a rundown. We did the tail lights. We did the uh, backup lights. We did the uh, reflectors on the bottom here, the bottom bumper that are soon to be fog lights. We did the center uh, brake light. What else did we do? Oh, we also did the mirrors, tinted around the mirrors, tinted around the headlights, the uh, yellow markers around the headlights. If you want, I'll show you real quick. Okay, so these are the mirrors that we did. They look really good. Perfect fit, perfect shrink. We did around the uh, reflector on the front headlight. And we did the other reflector on the other front headlight. Looks really nice and clean, like it was made for it. And also we did the uh, the other side mirror, all with the Lux tint. Turn out, turned out awesome. Turned out great. So, uh, so you know now where everything where I've tinted this far. But there's something missing. I mean, it looks great. Don't get me wrong. I think we did a fantastic job with the Lux tint. But this is all Lux offers when it comes to the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk SRT. This is it. The thing that really bothered me a little bit was that I couldn't, I didn't have anything to tint the red. Um, I think it's missing something. A lot of, a lot of people I know that have SRTs and Trackhawks, they'll tint the whole red out to match the smoke of what they did with the backup light. Or some even they smoke out the red uh, part of the tail light and they don't touch the backup light but i wanted it to look, be a little bit different so i wanted the backup light uh the reverse lights excuse me excuse me uh the reverse lights uh smoked out looks great these turned out great this this turned right out great the front turned out great but i really wanted to put some smoke on the tail light here and we didn't have a chance to do that and we didn't have an opportunity to do that until now so i know i'm faithful to lux but lux doesn't make this product so i had to i had to re reach out on the internet interwebs <laughs> as uh, ga Gas Monkey Garage would say, inter interwebs. And I found this product, uh, Revion. Yeah, Revion Auto Works, they make a taillight kit for the Jeep Grand Cherokee. In fact, this, this kit is actually gonna do two things. It's a kit for both the red and the reverse lights. I've already done the reverse lights, so I don't have to worry about that. But this is now gonna uh, tint out, not the whole red, but it's gonna tint out most of it. Oh, we got a little gardening going on around here. I guess they're taking advantage of the warm weather too before it gets cold. And I heard it's going to be snowing next week. Who knows? But in any case, I'm going to be uh, smoking out just the interior of this. Uh, I think it will turn out great. In fact, uh, here, let me open up the box. Usually I don't do my videos when the, uh, the landscapers are working, but I have no idea why they're here today. So let me uh, take a quick break. Let, let's let them do their thing because they're not gonna be here all that long. Let me just uh, take a quick break and we'll be back when they're out of here. Okay, I guess the, uh, I don't know what these landscapers are doing. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> uh, but I guess they're taking advantage of the warm weather just like I am. So again, uh, because I'm taking advantage of the 63 degree weather, you usually don't wanna do tint if it's less than 60 degrees. And plus I actually brought my dryer, hair dryer with me because we're gonna to need to use this to shrink because it was cold yesterday, it was cold this morning. Uh, so, but it's been 60 degrees now for the past hour, hour and a half, well actually almost, God, times it. it's almost three hours uh, since it hit 60 degrees. So I think we'll be fine. So again, let me show you what we're gonna be doing here. Yep, we have a landscaper coming whizzing by again. These guys will never stop bothering me. <laughs> Come on. Moving on out, all right. So, I got a lot of pieces on here. So we got uh, passenger upper fender. Let's see, passenger upper fender. So it's gonna basically go here. It's basically gonna be, if you can see the outline, see where it's red here, and you got your uh, your outline here. This is where the light is gonna light up, and this is where the reflect, this is mostly reflector. In fact, I'm gonna get these, I might get these taillights changed out to those eagle eye. Uh, tail lights that, that everybody's been getting on their, their Jeep Grand Cherokees. I'm just not going to do it now. I'm going to wait until maybe the spring to do it. 
So in the meantime, I bought two kits. So I know I'm gonna be putting this on, I'll probably be wasting the kit, but I want the look. I wanna see what it's gonna look like. So, um, and I, I also need the practice. So this is the uh, passenger upper fender. Ah, this is actually gonna go on this side. Okay, so this is gonna be going on this side here. We got the passenger upper trunk, which that's gonna go right here. Uh, what else do we have? And we have the passenger lower trunk, which is right here. And again, I've already done this with the Lux tint, so this, this is just extra tint. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this side. So it's just gonna be the interior of this. Gonna keep this outline where when it's lit up, it's gonna look really, really sharp. It's almost gonna look like the, the I guess the charger. The charger's got the tint in the middle and it's got the red on the outline, like a racetrack. The same thing with the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee, same thing. Everyone tints the middle and leaves the, the racetrack. Well, that's what I'm gonna do with the Grand Cherokee. That's what I'm gonna do with the track hawk. We're gonna make it look like a racetrack after the tint design. It's gonna look fantastic, trust me. So without further ado, <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> without further ado, we're gonna get started. So first things first, we got our squeegee. We actually have some leftover uh, stuff from Lux, which uh, again, Lux, uh, thank you so much for all the great things you did with this tint. I just wish, like I said, I even wrote to Lux and asked them, I said, like, you gotta come up with tint for these lights. I'll go back to you. I could pull this off at any time, but I gotta do this today. I gotta do it now. And I wanna show you guys on what it's gonna look like. Revion. Revion, I've never used them before, but we're gonna see how good their tint is, see how good and easy it is to apply as well. So let me uh, put, find a good spot for this stuff here. All right, so that's good. So we're gonna use our spritz. We're gonna use our spritz from when we used the, the Lux. There's a squeegee here that uh, Revion provided. I'm also gonna use the, the squeegee that Lux provided. Okay. And we're also gonna use the, the Adams Polishes waterless, wa uh, waterless Wax. Waterless Wash to wash the taillights since it's too, I don't, I don't wanna be bothered washing the whole car right now. We're just gonna be doing the taillights real quick. And then, I don't know, I heard there's gonna be snow in tomorrow, who knows? But uh, and nonetheless, we're gonna get this done. All right, so let's get it started. Okay, so I'm gonna take the, uh, you know what I'm probably gonna do? Let me do this. I'm gonna take some water, and I just wanna get some excess, the excess dirt off. So let me grab a towel. I'm just gonna grab a tape, paper towel, get it wet, because there is a little bit of residue dirt on there, and the water is washed. I want it to be, I don't wanna dirty the towel when I don't need to. So let's do that. Get this nice and wet. Okay, I know. Waterless wash, and I'm using water. this down to be a three-step process. We're gonna get the excess dirt off. Both, both taillights are gonna get the excess dirt off. All right, see, you know, don't want that on the towel. We'll dry this off real quick. Dry this off. That's nice and dry. Now we're gonna use our waterless wash. Let's put some towel. good it's good oh wow nice and clean all right next step in the process we use this chamois the chamois that came from again lux <laughs> all right do a little spritz i'm just gonna do one piece at a time Yeah, it's landscaping day. If you haven't already heard that, somebody else next door is doing the landscaping. Again, we're taking advantage of the warm weather. Okay, so, but we gotta, we gotta take advantage of it too. So let's keep going. All right, um, again, I'm gonna 
Get our squeegees here. All right, we're gonna dry it. Let me just see exact. Oh, they even give me a towel. See, look, they gave me a towel as well. Well, it went it was really nice of them to give me a towel, but without the uh, the prep spray, I don't know why they gave me the towel. So let me just count to see how much tint we actually have, because I don't know if they gave you, because I like the fact that Lux gives you practice tint. So let's see if we have any practice tint here. All right. Passenger upper fender. Passenger upper trunk. Okay, we got a whole bunch of the smaller pieces. Lower fender, lower fender, lower fender. Okay. Driver upper trunk. Driver upper trunk. Okay, so they gave me some practice pieces. All right, so driver upper trunk. I got two pieces of that. And driver upper fender. So the driver side, I have two tints. So let's, let's, I cleaned the passenger side. Did you see that? All right, so we're going to do the driver upper trunk first. I'm glad I checked because, uh, again, it's good to have practice. And I think that's the smartest move because you, if you haven't worked with this product before, uh, unlike the Lux tint, which I have worked with, if you remember, uh, I think I used one practice tint of the Lux with the Hellcat uh, and wasted it. But on the, the Trackhawk, uh, I didn't use any of the, well, whatever practice tint I had, I didn't have to re, I didn't have to take it off and, and reuse another piece of tint. So with that, with that said, let's uh, now prep the driver's side. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll here. Okay. Right. Driver upper trunk, driver upper fender. All right, so we'll dry fit this. So this is the fender, this is the trunk. All right. so let's do the trunk first. Let's give it a shot. I mean, I'm pretty sure just basically you follow the outlines and I think it'll work fine I think I like it. I think I like it. The hardest, the hardest, the hardest part is to get it level. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's level. But like I said, I mean, this is practice for the winter time. Uh, I can always change it, and I have a second kit. I bought two kits. Um, I got a really good price on it on Amazon, so why not? And see how that's going to look? I, I think that's going to be fantastic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the passenger trunk on as well because I don't think it'll be fair to say that the driver's side is done unless the passenger side looks exactly the same. It's not like with the Lux. You have these, uh, you have exact measurements, exact spaces where it will go in here. You're basically eyeballing where you think it might go. And yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want it to be even and equal. So this is what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do with this one. Okay, more of the landscapers coming. <laughs> Even. That's the key. Mm -hmm. 
Nope, it does not. It looks like it's higher on this side, so we're gonna have to recoup. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is it doesn't look even. So I think what I'm going to do, I have the lights on as a reference. I think that will work better for me. So let me get to it. I will, uh, I'm not going to talk that much. I'm just going to just get, get it done. And then uh, I'll talk to you when, the, when I get the results. When I get the results I'm looking for. All right. Okay, I think, I think they look even now. Let's take. What do you think? I look, they're, they're looking pretty even. I mean, they're not exact because I would expect it to overlap on both sides, but I'm just gonna seal these up because I think what I'm looking for, I want an even line here. I want it to be not as great over here and even over here. So I think I'm getting what I'm looking for with this tint. I mean, it's not an exact science because it's not the full thing, but I think I'm I'm getting what I'm looking for. I mean, I got a couple air bubbles and I'm gonna get those out. That's not a problem. I got the hair dryer, everything will work out. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna work on the the sides. Because I think at the at the end of the day, this piece and this piece also have to match up. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna make sure that this piece and this piece match up. This piece, this piece and this piece mass match up. And if it all matches up, then I'll just use the heat gun to seal it up and call it a good install. So Let's get to it. To the driver fender first. I think it looks even enough so the next step is i'm going to use the hair dryer get it all smoothed out and then we'll, we'll work on the other side Okay, so we got the, the driver's side done. I went through two pieces of vinyl already. This is the, I went through the practice one and I wrinkled it. I went through, this is the second piece and I got most of it done. I have like two, maybe three wrinkles to work out. I'm gonna keep working on them. Uh, if I destroy this piece, I still have another set of vinyl I can work with, but nonetheless, this is exactly where I'm looking for in terms of placement. So. Let's see how it goes. Let me get this side done. Maybe because it's in the sun, it'll be easier to work with. So let me start working on this side and then I'll show you the final results as to what I have right now. And then we'll, we'll figure something out. Maybe if we get another nice day like today, like if, if I had two days in a row like this, I would rip this piece of vinyl off right now and, and, and continue working on it. But for right now I'm losing, losing a little bit of time, losing my sun, losing my temperature. It's still 63, I'm still above 60. So let me get this side done real quick. Um, get as much as I can done and then if I have to I'll come back and I'll work back on this side if I have more time and we'll get this stuff we'll get it done we'll bang it out all right so we'll keep working on it so now to do the passenger side now, get the landscaper noise again so just, uh, I'll just give it a dry fit and as I'm playing with it I'll, I'll come back Dry fit. You can continue to work on it. I'll show you the final product when I'm done. <laughs>
I'm still working on this, as you can see. Um, it's taking a little bit more time than I expected. This vinyl is not the easiest to work with, so Lux, you're the winner in terms of working with vinyl. I'm, I'm heating this as much as I can. I think even though today's 63 degrees, I think it would have been better if it were uh, like 83 degrees out or 73 degrees out because it's it's really hard to work with. But I'm going to continue uh, trying to get the last little piece on here. Uh, got a little wrinkle. And once I get the wrinkle out, I think this will be done. I like Lux. Uh, I think this with this setup, I think you have to stretch the vinyl. I know you, they don't recommend it with Lux. And I don't know if after I, I've stretched this out to the point where I'm, I'm, I mean, I've gotten most of the wrinkles out. There's a ton of wrinkles, by the way. I got most of them out. I think by the time I have this installed, I bet you there probably will be a, a little unevenness. But that has wrinkles right now, so I'm not worried about it. I wish I had more time. I mean, it's now 3.15. Uh, I'm going to lose the sun in about an hour. In fact, i got to call it quits in about 3.30 because I have a, an appointment at 4. But um, I'm going to get as much of this done as I possibly can. So just bear with me. That moment of truth, you're going to see if it's even. Well, I mean, not every project is going to be a success. I would say I, I could put a, a uh, uh, something about it failing, but I don't know. Uh, let me see. Where, I'll, I'll show you what I have thus far. I'm going to continue to work on it for another 10, 15 minutes, and then I have to stop it. Let me just show you what I got. All right, so on this side, I mean, this looks pretty decent. I mean, it's nice and even, there's no wrinkles, there's no bubbles, it looks perfect. Now on this side, what I'm working with right now is, I mean, it's hard to tell, but I got a couple of wrinkles in here that I know I can get out now because these wrinkles I was able to get out on the other side. So it's gonna take a little bit more time to, to work on it. I think I could leave it as is for now because like I said, I'm losing daylight, I'm losing the weather, it's not going to be warm tomorrow. I'm probably going to have to work on this on the weekend. But yeah, I'll, I'll go back to this. This is not going to be a finished video until it's done. So, And I got more vinyl, so I can actually go back and work on this. But this is what I'm working with thus far. Now on this side, did it actually line up? Okay, so as you can see, I have a little bit of a space right here, but that's okay because this is even. It's level. It's even level here. It matches the other side, and I'll know better when I see it at night. But as you can see, I, I, you can't really see on the camera, but I got a couple of small bubbles I got to get out. All the wrinkles are out. I had a lot of wrinkles on the bottom here, and I don't know if the, I'm going to have like tint, tint scars because of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, uh, yeah, I'm going to heat it up one more time. I'm going to give it one more squeegee. Uh, and this is as far as I'm going to get tonight. And then I'm going to see how I like it over the next couple of days. And if, I, if I'm going to take it off, I'll take it off or... Or redo it again i can redo it again on another nice day but like i said we're, we're running out of 60 day weather 70 plus i don't even think we'll see 70s again this year uh probably won't be until next year so this is as much as i can do with the time and the uh the weather that i can deal do with it this time unless i can borrow someone's garage but uh this is the product that we have right now and in fact let me just try to turn on the lights one more time just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like when it glows i think when the lights are on it's going to look epic I don't know if you can tell, the lights are on. <laughs> I can tell, but it looks really good. This is the really the look I'm looking for. So if you look from a distance, from a distance, this is the, the exact, see now it looks like a, this is the racetrack. This is the exact look that I'm looking for. I just need to perfect the, uh, the application of the tint. And again, it's vinyl, it's workable. I'm, I've been getting pretty good at this, especially around the, the curves and the mirrors when I was working with the Lux tint. I just think this tint is a little bit too thick and maybe that's why it's giving me a little bit of difficulty. But for right now, I think this project is done for now. 
I'm going to continue to work it, but well, let me give you my final thoughts. Okay, let me give you my final thoughts. So, so basically, I mean, I, I love the fact that you were able, I was able to get a tint that kind of gave you that racetrack look. Fantastic. I found the tint. It, it's workable tint, okay? It's not impossible tint. It's not as good as the Lux tint, but it's, it's workable. So it's just a matter of dealing with the sun, the heat, the weather. It's still, according to my watch, it's 63 degrees out. It doesn't feel 63 anymore. I think it's dipped below that. And uh, with Lux, they say you need above 60. In fact, I just read, reread the uh reread the instructions for the Rivian. They said 65, so I'm not two degrees short of having perfect tint. But I think if, if hindsight's 2020, in the 70s is better, probably 80s is better. 90s would be too hot because uh, I'd be sweating my butt my butt off. So I think the look that I'm looking for is is exactly what this is. I, I'm i gonna continue to work on it for another 10, 15 minutes, and then I gotta pack it in. But without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing uh, mods as I go. These mods, not everyone's gonna be success. This one was semi-successful. I will redo it if I have to, but for now, I'll let you go because I think that you've seen enough of what I wanted to do, and you'll see a final product. You'll see Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Ral underscore Hellcat, Ral underscore Hellcat on Instagram, and you'll see if I make any further progress with this if I if I take it off altogether. But I wanted to get this on here for Taillight Tuesday, so you'll see the posting tomorrow, or actually you'll see the Instagram way before you see this video. But just follow me on Instagram again. Uh, and if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notification. We still have more mods left. I know winter is coming, the fall is dwelling down, but I still have more mods that we need to do for the track walk before the end of the year. In fact, uh, I think we're gonna make the exhaust a little bit louder. So mid month for deletes coming, I think is gonna be first because I'm gonna do the Corsa with a Borla in the spring. But for the winter time, I really wanna get some sound out of this and maybe just the mid month for delete is the way to go for now quick, easy, $150 mod. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. The day's ending, 60 degrees are ending. It's gonna, they say it's gonna snow in the next couple of days, who knows? I don't know if it's gonna happen, but if it does, well, I hope you enjoy the snow. So hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate all the support. In fact, we just hit 200 subscribers. So I appreciate all the people who subscribe and keep and are faithful to the channel. And for those of you who knew, are new, again, I appreciate you watching this video. Again, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notification, hit the like button, share the video with everyone you can so we can bring that subscriber count up to a thousand. That is the goal because once I get monetized, I can now get some money to spend more money on this because all the money from YouTube is gonna to go towards the track walk. Not, not in it for the money, in it for fun, but if I can get some money from YouTube out of it, then that's even better because we can put more mods to the track walk. In fact, maybe we'll make it a thousand horsepower track walk who knows that'll only happen once we hit a thousand subscribers or more so without further ado enjoy the rest of your day thanks again for watching and for and you know how we go out of this thing <laughs> we say peace peace thanks again for watching take care okay a little elbow grease and we have success all the wrinkles are gone now so now I guess we could call this project success. Yeah, it actually came out really good. All right, all the wrinkles are gone. I'm happy. It's even. Can't beat that. Even on both sides. Even on both sides. So, yeah. Figured I'd give you a little bonus footage. Yep. It's a winner. <laughs> it's a winner, finally, man. Look at how even the gap is. That's pretty even right there. Yeah, I get a little, that's, that's fine. I, I realize it, but look at it. The wrinkles are gone. It looks awesome and it's gonna look awesome at night. So maybe, if I can, I'll give you a little clip at night, see how it looks, but other than that, I think it's successful now. Woohoo! Happy, 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 joy, joy.